Hello again, this is from the road to Fokia de Erpin. I'm using the Trailock LS906 and you can see how far it lights up the road. really perfect uh, example. This road is not fairly narrow. A uh, cycle path here and not quite straight and not quite level everywhere but About 60 meters or so, I can see with it, and you won't be able to see it that well or that far probably on the video because of issues with dynamic range of cameras, and computer screens, etc. So in reality, I see more to the sides than. What I see here on the phone screen, uh, in reality it looks a bit more, you see more patterns at the end, these are difficult to see now, it's also raining a bit, but in the very light, so it's still good, so this video, I definitely like this light more than the EQX, uh, the IQX. This remote, however, just doesn't seem to do anything. And that may be an issue with this uh, sample. But I can switch between like blue or green, and one of them is automatic. I don't remember, I couldn't find the instructions on the internet. Uh, I will check later when I return to the Netherlands but despite unevenness it starts yeah, maybe five meters from the front wheel four meters there are some patterns in the whole uh, section is good at the end it looks like three fingers but that is not so much a problem because it's just lighting up what is far ahead of you and you don't need perfect light there so yeah maybe this will show you a little bit I will do the Icaro C1 next time because yeah, because it's raining. Yeah, maybe I'll just change. Okay. I'm going to change. Let's see. Wait a minute. 
going to, yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, need to aim it farther. Far beam, you see the beam is, wait, why is this, okay. The far beam, this is the Garo C1, far beam is a lot wider than the Tradoc LS 906. The 906, however, lights up everything on the cycle pass more brightly. Although part of it may be apparent because of the cooler light color. Change a bit. Uh, wait for a bit of straight section for better aim, perhaps. Uh, oh yeah, of course. It's not yet, but I can't access the C1. Yeah, I could do it with the other phone. Okay, but I'm not going to do that now. It's getting charged now nicely from a downhill higher speed uh, so it should be now at a brighter level the reds yeah it looks it looks better it looks perhaps not as bright as this uh, 906 but I need to check a bit uh, switch back to the 906 but you can see pretty good I think I'm going to the road oh uh -huh. now it's a lot brighter yeah 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 this is bad this is more like it this is nice the capacitor needs to be charged and you can set the light output for a charge level of the capacitor and this is pretty bright I think the capacitor is at level 3 or the maximum for riding faster for a while see some unevenness that is uh, raindrops from the raindrops on the bike light. These uh, dark spots. Uh, yeah, let me try to wipe. Yeah, you see it's gone. It's from raindrops. Probably about optimal. Ah, this is uh, pleasant to ride. I have to say, it's comfortable. I like it. Um, I mean, you get to see much more of the sides of the road. It gives you a feeling of where you are, and you need to pay less attention. But something might jump out. Or someone or someone pops up with a like a pedestrian or a cyclist okay that's it for now bye